Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome back to Beholder 2, the beta. Right, we've got to figure out what we're doing with Pete and I think I have an idea. I've been trying to figure out what I need to do with this bag of insects. I think I need to put them in his desk and in order to do that I need to be able to unlock it. I've got a book at home that will allow me to do that. I also need to find this Window 101. This guy over here knew what was up with it, didn't he? Um, or he knew something about it. Uh, window 101. Uh, go left, then turn right after 50 meters. Okay. So, left is this way. It's not either of these. Is it... Oh! You! I don't know, some... That's weird, why don't they highlight? Um... That one looks like it's got somebody in it, so don't think it's that one. This one, maybe? Let's have a look. Ooh! Oh, hi! <laughs> uh, I checked the booth the customer was referring to and saw the reason straight away. A dead employee can't help anyone. Yeah, I know, he's fallen asleep in his jam. Was he eating donuts or was it a sandwich? I don't know. Looks like he had a heart attack, but no one noticed. If he had a heart attack, why is there blood on the desk? Or did he maybe cough up the blood or something? I don't know. An inconspicuous life, an inconspicuous death. I should tell security. Let them deal with it. Yep. Okay, well that's got that one sorted, kind of. Um, do I need to tell the visitor about them as well? I don't know. I don't know if telling the visitor is going to get me into trouble or not. Um, oh, what do I do? Do I tell him? I don't quite know whether I should tell him or not. Yeah. I have good news and bad news. Which do you want first? Bad. The employee from that window died from exhaustion at his desk a week ago. A week! Well, he said he had been waiting a week, so... Yeah. That's awful! What's the good news? You're now free to go stand in a different line. <laughs> You know what? I think I'll just go home. I wanted to get the reward for turning in banned books, but I doubt it will cover my expenses. You can take the book if you want. I'm not carrying it back home. Alright. Thanks. I'll know what to do with it. Ooh. What book have we got? What is this? Water supply discount. Oh, nice! I will definitely take that with me. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna do some reading. Might have enough time to get at least one book read. We shall see. Oh, those contraband detectors still give me... still make me nervous. Uh, hello, um... Uh, Mr. Police Officer. May I have your attention? What do you want? To uh, there's a body in Cubicle 101. Why? Why what? Why is there a body, or why is it in 101? Why don't I know about it? I've no idea, but now you know. I'll handle it. Dismissed. Thank you for your service. That's it? Yep. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> okay, well, I got that sorted. Which I suppose is something. Ooh, I think we got more bills. Do we have more bills? Yeah, we do. New bill arrived. Uh, electricity payment and a collection for the army and the home front. Alright, I'll keep, I'll keep those in mind. Uh, I'm not going to bother watching TV. Let's have a look at the books. What books have we got? Should have plenty now. Um, right, yeah, we've got... Oh, wow, that, that takes six reads to get done. Alright, I'm going to go for the picking of the locks. So I've learned that one. And I'll get the first batch of that one done. It's going to take another five hours to read that, but a 15% discount on water supply. Nice. 
Okay, is there anything new on TV? I can always check. No. Not worth bothering with. Okay, it's a fresh day and I think somebody wants to talk to me. Who are you? Excuse me? Yes? You work for the Ministry, right? That's right, how did you know? Nothing special. I'm just professionally observant. You work with Marco Legrand, right? Give him this envelope, it's very important. Sure, I'd be happy to help. There's nothing prohibited in there, right? No, no, of course not. Just a friendly note. Nothing prohibited. Okay. I'm a suspicious person. What should I do with the envelope? The grand will skim me alive if I open it, but I'm not his courier either. Especially when I'm being used and kept in the dark. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm not going to open it. I won't read other people's mail. I, I, I will be a decent citizen. I'm not going to do anything untoward just yet. Okay, we're good. Uh, it's going to get me every time. Okay, I still have my... Yeah, I've got the sealed envelope and a bag of insects. Cool. Right, let's get these things sorted. Nobody in the queue. Window 101 is still closed. I wonder why that is. Have they not got a replacement yet? Thought the Ministry was meant to be all about efficiency. Uh, who are you? Who's, who's that face? I don't know. Uh, probably Mark. Right. Let's break our way in. Oh, I'm sorry to do this, Pete, but... Uh, okay. Uh, break open into the desk. Oh, break into the desk. Uh, bag of insects. Ooh, screwdriver. Ooh, that's theft. Ooh, do I need a screwdriver? Will I need a screwdriver? I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. I'm going to leave that there. I'm not going to... Oh, it's going to cost me another half hour to get back in the desk? That's ridiculous. Sod it. I'm stealing the screwdriver. Sorry, Pete. I'm doing what must be dong. Oh god. No. Oh. <laughs> Why do you still work here if people treat you like this? Are you dead? Oh, no, he has risen. <laughs> oh, you poor son of a bitch. I'm sorry. Okay, fear has been dealt with. We have one last thing to do. Passion. Uh, can we talk about anything? Okay, I think I need to talk to somebody else about uh, his passion. Maybe Emma? Um, right. Marco? Do you want to come out of your office, mate? Actually, let's try and talk to Emma while she's here. What happened? Um, okay. Peter is just a colleague. No, I don't think there's anything... Nothing for me to talk to her about there. Right. Um, what do you want? Um, Marco, someone asked me to pass an envelope on to you. Here it is. Thanks for the favour, Evan. You're a fearless guy with a short nose, if you know what I mean. Do I know what that means? Does that mean I don't stick my nose in other people's business? 
If I were you, I would have poked my nose in that envelope for sure. I was tempted. I was very tempted. Okay, that's that done. Who can I speak to about Dong's f um, passion stuff? Do I maybe want to talk to... I forget her name. Cart Lady. She seems to be the one who's given me all the most information so far. Uh, oh, what do you need? Hi, Serena. What's new? Anything go going on today? As if... What happened? That damn vending machine is what happened. They put those metal monsters everywhere. As if they can make buns as delicious as mine. Well, if you actually stocked some in your cart, that would make a difference. <laughs> um, your buns are the best. <laughs> I'm sure your clientele isn't going anywhere. It already has. Every night I look at my sales figures and weep. A couple more weeks like this and I'm done. I know the feeling. Not that serious, eh? If someone broke that damn thing completely, I'd shower him with gold. That's how serious it is. So what do you say? Help Auntie Serena and make a little dough? Sure. Why not? I never liked that machine either. Deal. <laughs> Thank you so much, sweetie. <laughs> I'll never forget it. But really do your worst, alright? I've heard the only irreplaceable part of that, mach that machine is the reactor. Reactor? How are they powering the damn things? Uh, alright. How's... Okay. Uh, let's... Figure out who I could speak to about Dong's passion. You might have any information? No. You just trade. For foreign currency that I don't really need and couldn't really use, I think. Okay. Vending machine. I'm gonna fiddle with this. Alright, the, the PCBM42 provisions machine welcomes you. Okay. You notice the cover of a power unit on the machine's casing. It's fastened with four screws. You will need a screwdriver to remove the cover. It's a good job I nicked that screwdriver from Pete's desk, isn't it? Alright, you have successfully removed the power unit's cover. Not like I haven't got an audience, I and mean, look at all these bloody people. Okay. A foreign wristwatch? Okay. Oh, I have to take the reactor to Serena. Okay. What can I do with the foreign wristwatch? I don't know, but I'm going to take it. Doesn't count as theft, so that's okay. However, I don't think I'm going to get back out through the contraband unit. It's me in here, though, which is all right. Right. Uh, no need to look for anyone else. Here's your reactor. Oh, you sweetheart. Thank you so much. Here for your trouble. Cool. Right, um, can I ask her about her family, I suppose? Or colleagues. Let's ask about Peter again. Right, she doesn't know anything about his passions. Right, yeah, I'm gonna ask her about her family. Do you have kids, Serena? Why? You wanna be a dad? <laughs> Not particularly. Uh, no thanks, I'm good with the ones I've got. I'm just curious how you manage to do everything. What interests you? Oh, how many kids have you had? I had three. One got drafted during the first Western campaign. The war did away with him in a month. The second one showed up again recently. Shell shocked. Says he got discharged. I'm not. I'm not sure if it's my my kind of inflections for the voice I'm giving her, but she doesn't sound too fussed about it, does she? Huge fellow with a baby brain. Got to feed him like a toddler. My third one. Oh well, I'm talking too much. Gotta go. <laughs> Where's your husband? Ate too many pears. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? I once brought home some pears for my youngest. Traded them at the market. Traded for him at the market. And that drunken swine had some moonshine and ate them all. And what happened? While I was young, strong, 
He fell very ill, so to say. Was bleeding from the nose and all, and that's how he died. Food poisoning. Terrible business. Are your parents still alive? After our youngest was born, they invited us over to the city. They have a huge room in social housing there. So there are five of us. But at least there's always someone to change the IV when you need to. IV? My youngest was born sick, needs meds, and I'm no nurse. All I know is how to make pies. It's a noble profession, it really is. Is anyone helping you? Sure. The leaders tend to care and our constant victories on the battlefront. Are you kidding? What do you mean? Can't you see I'm basking in care? <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Alright. Well, thank you very much. Uh, Pete, can I, can I inquire about anything with you? Okay, there's nothing left for me to talk to Pete about. Nothing that's going to be useful anyway. Um... Can we speak to Magda or Magda or Could flirt with her and maybe put her on to Pete, maybe? Mm. Okay. I don't know what to do with Emma. I'm not sure whether to lie about my feelings or offer money for the whole storeroom business. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna go talk to Magda first, and I don't know. Maybe I could go home and like do some reading on this book. Um, also, like maybe like oh yeah, I can't wait an hour. Um, right, Magda, have you got any insights? No. Great. Wasted an hour to get nothing from you. Okay, I'm going to uh, do some forms just to get some money, I think. That would be helpful. Oh, do I maybe need to check Pete's computer for maybe emails or something? That could be an option. Okay, I need three out of five to get my re bonus reward. So let's get to it. Good afternoon. I've brought a write up of my invention. Hair curlers made from rifle ammo. <laughs> All formatted, numbered, filed, and ready to be archived. Uh, okay, so that's information. Um, is that science and technology? I'm going to guess that. And we're on Friday, so Office 390. Yes, it is. Fantastic. I have the annual instrument renewal plan for the Houses of Culture. Who should I give it to? In total, we're writing off 2,143 drums, 1,876 trombones, two triangles, and one grand piano. I see. That seems like information for culture and sports, I think. I don't know, I want to hear what... I, I don't know what you're going to be doing with regards to writing off all of those instruments, but if you're going to be throwing them anywhere, like off a cliff, I want to be there to listen to it, because that's going to sound hilarious. That's going to be fantastic. Oh, that would be the best noise ever. <laughs> 279, go. Yes! Abigail and Morden Kendall, my neighbours in the communal apartment, regularly steal food from the refrigerator. Last night they ate all my soup and didn't even wash the saucepan. All oh, right, we've had this one before. Uh, that's denunciation order uh, 101. Yeah, getting it right. Rah rah! Yesterday we played football with the sheriff, the police team, or with sheriff the police team. During the match, they arrested ten players for exceeding the pedestrian speed limit. <laughs> okay. Their goalkeeper find us right on the field. I want to complain about the referees for this behaviour and demand a rematch. Uh, okay, culture and sports. Complaint and 78. Yeah, getting good. I'm getting good at this. I like it. Vandals! Barbarians! Philistines! Sorry? I want you to de dedicate all of your resources to finding the map, the one who painted over the poster for my show, The Mine Calls. Look, do I have a moustache and a beard? Any horns? And this postscript, you to the grave, after the title. 
You must bring these villains to account. Okay, um... Is that a request for order, I think? Go 212. Ah, oh, damn it, that was a complaint. Okay, well, that's some money. We got the bonus. It's the important thing. I think we should head home and read some books. And I'll come back tomorrow and we'll deal with um, good old Pete. Oh, shit. I just remembered I've got this watch. What am I meant to do with that? Can I stash it anywhere? Can I put it in um, the... One of the... Oh, God, what are they? The the, the, the paper carts, the, the file carts or something. Yeah, I can maybe store it here. I know this is meant to be mine, so I don't know... What I can do with it, but that's contraband, so... Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. And hope that it's there in the morning. Fingers crossed. If I find anybody that wants a foreign wristwatch, then I will sell it slash give it to them. Otherwise, hmm, not sure what to do. Fuck. What have I got? Is it the screwdriver? Halt! I didn't do anything. The detector went off. We have to conduct a search. Security cameras have picked up a misappropriation of property. Article 920, paragraph 2, breaking and entering, a fine of 350 for each stolen item or correctional labour in the mines for a period of 10 years. Wait, what? Let's see how much you've stolen. Fuck. I use my authority. I don't owe anything to anybody. You can direct all your questions to my boss. He'll explain who I am and why I'm allowed to look inside drawers. Do I make myself clear? Sorry, my bad. Oh, okay, so... We can we can use reputation to deal with stuff. Is, that's, is that going to be an issue every time I go through that thing? I did not think that the screwdriver was going to be a problem. It's just a screwdriver. I mean, yes, it does belong to Pete. It's it's not really mine. Ugh. Hopefully, that might have cleared that one item. Oh God, more bills. All right, what have we got here? Okay, electricity payment deadline two days. I've got a book that reduces my or says I can do energy savings. So we'll see how many reads that's going to take. It's going to be six hours. Uh, Alright, we'll, we'll read as much of the water one as possible. We'll pay the electric bill now, because that needs to be paid. Alright, that one there. Boop. Uh, we got three days left on these, but I got time to go and earn some more money, so I'll probably do that, I think. Sleep. Okay, moment of truth. Yeah, okay, that does clear it. Good. So, yeah, that's that's good. Right. But mental note for the future. Anything that could get me in trouble, leave in work. Because it may have been a case that even if I'd... I, mean, I don't know, maybe it was a case of if I'd left it... In my... In, like, one of the carts or something... Um, they might still have detected me, but I could have just let them proceed with the search and they wouldn't have found anything, and I wouldn't have had to waste my reputation. I don't know. Don't know how that works, but something to consider. Right, so while Pete is away from... Oh, sorry, Pete! <laughs> um, yeah, while Pete is away from his desk, if he wants to go somewhere, oh, he's, got, he's got to go and top up his meds, I think. Ooh, I wonder, can I take this watch and can I trade it to the nefarious fellow over here? Trade. No. Okay. I thought I might be able to get money from him by 
trading him the uh, the wristwatch for stuff. But those can both say that stay there. I'll hide hide my stuff in an innocuous little place. Once Pete's out of uh, his office, I'm going to go and check his computer. See if I can find anything that will help with uh, this passion thing. I also need to eliminate three colleagues, and I don't know how to do that. Okay, off you go. Just break into your office real quick. Okay, computer. Let's have a look. Right. Nothing there. Documents. I'm, I'm just gonna, like, skirt through all of these. So, circulation letter... I don't know. Is this gonna give me any information whatsoever? Ooh! You've forgotten about me again. You're denying yourself happiness by not noticing me. Sent to all. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I think that's probably done it. Um. Get out. Oh, that was close. All staff are to assemble on the bridge. All hail the leader. Okay. Shit's getting serious. God, okay. Today's hero is Peter Dong. This comrade thinks that people in the ministry give a rat's ass about his personal life. You think you're a great poet? You have zero talent. Any moron could write this. Every employee must think only about their work. Men are forbidden to think about women, and women are forbidden to think about men. For the crime of mass mailing, you are sentenced to a reprimand in your personal file, a quintuple fine, and community labor in the metro, where you are to wash off some drawings. All hail the leader. Now back to your workplaces, everyone. Pete, I'm so sorry. Oh, okay, talk to Legrand. Let's go and get this letter. I feel dirty. I feel dirty having done all that. Oh, Pete, I'm sorry. You didn't seem like a bad guy. You just seemed like a bit of a sad sap. Alright. What do you want? I put Beatles in his desk. He must have heard him screaming. His cries are a sweet melody to these ears. Poor Peter's afraid of a couple of ordinary bugs. Good job, Redgrave. Don drank coffee laced with a laxative. Next time I'll hang an out-of-service sign on the toilet door. I love these little japes. They really let us see how people open up and let loose. Quite literally. <laughs> open up, let loose. Get, yeah, I got, I got it. Jesus. You're not that funny, you know. Now I'll call him Peter the Excreter. Case in point. That's just dreadful. I sent a love letter to Hazer from Dong's Terminal. Oh yeah, that was cool. Peter went so red I thought he was going to catch fire, and I nearly died laughing. Hey, you're not so bad. But I'm still better. Come by tomorrow, I'll tell you how to play some pranks on Peter. I'd rather not. So what about that letter? Legrand always keeps his word. There you go. You've earned it. Cool. So I got that done. Now, my only thing I need to worry about is eliminating colleagues. Well, I got a fuckload of reputation now. That's impressive. Right. Oh, I can read the letter in the full version of the game. Ah, oh, okay. Alright, can I do anything here then? Alright, let's do this flirt thing. Let's see what's going to be going down. And I'm going to lie about feelings. I'm going to see where this takes me. Emma, I can't bear it anymore. I've been thinking about you since the first day I saw you. I can't get you out of my head. So what? You're married. How could I have known when I got married that I'd meet you? One kiss in private is all I'm asking for. Really? I give you my word. One kiss. That's all. Wow. 
That's so romantic. Just like in my favorite series, when Kurt dumped Stephanie for Sophia. Alright, let's do this. And if I like it, then what? And wipe that smug grin off your face. I'll be waiting for you there. <laughs> 20 minutes later. 20 minute kiss, that was a fucking long one. It took your father longer to fall out the window and- Wow! <laughs> That's fucking harsh. Alright, um... Okay, I can't do anything else. I can't do anything else with Emma. Which I suppose is a good thing. I'm gonna rifle through some carts. Ugh. Empty. No one's empty as well. Okay. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna get some work done so I can get some more money. And I'm gonna go home, read some more of these books. Oh, I gotta figure out how to eliminate my colleagues. Alright. I brought a journal containing every case of light bulb theft in the entrance to our building, as well as graffiti on the walls. It also describes preventative measures and crime dates. I hope it will help to investigate these flagrant order violations. Right, that's information, order, and we are on a Saturday. Ministry's open on a Saturday? Oh, of course it is. Ministry's going to be open every day. Hi, my neighbour, Alexandra Timoviev, Timoviev? Yeah. Uh, built a time machine in his apartment. Wow. You realise you lived next to the totalitarian version of Doc Brown? Actually, I met him. It was a weird, weird world. Time machines aren't real. Oh yeah? Next you'll say that pterodactyl is in my ki the, the pterodactyl in my kitchen isn't real either. It ate all my sausages. I demand that you stop this madness at once. Uh, complaint? Science and technology? I think? Oh, God damn, it's a denunciation. Of course it was. She mentioned his name. Hello. I did what they asked of me. Sorry? I was recently summoned to the police. They asked me about my wife. I've said everything I know. I swear I didn't even think she... Please calm down. Sorry. So, they told me to remember who this traitor could have communicated with before her arrest. Here's the information I collected. Right, okay. Uh, information... order? I think... Mm, go 101. Yes! Do something about the director of the Bumpy Roads Theatre Group. They hire disabled actors, then torture them to make their performance more realistic. One guy had both his eyes taken out by a parrot. Bloody hell. <laughs> Fuck. What's the director's name? Mira Rosenblatt. She also uses the orchestra pit in her production of Spartans and their problem children. Throws those poor actors right at the trumpeter. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that. <laughs> I should not laugh at that, but fucking hell, that's funny. <laughs> uh, okay, denunciation, culture and sports. Going to room 78. <laughs> you know. This country is ridiculous. Someone has graffitied the walls of our building. The guilty party must be executed against those, those very walls. Have they befouled our bright leader's name? Our, or defamed our war success? Worse, they drew the sun and some ducks. Rubber ducks. What are their parents thinking of? You must sort out this flag you must sort this flagrant behaviour out. Right, um Request Order Two one two It's always a complaint. Why do I never get the requests done properly? Well why am I always mistaking the requests? I don't know. But okay, that's that's a little bit amount a little bit of money. Not much, but I want to save the rest of this time for going home and reading some books. So let's go and do that. What am I going to do about my colleagues? I've just had a thought. This foreign wristwatch is prohibited stuff, isn't it? Uh... 
I'm gonna see if I can plant this in Marco's desk and then rat him out to security. Oh shit, I can't break into his desk! I've got that skill! Why? I don't know. Okay, um, anything here that might be incriminating? Ooh. I don't know. Ooh, don't know what that one was about, but... Hmm. Interesting. Something about money and grandchildren. Ooh. Can I maybe talk to you now that I know that? Um, ooh. Talk about family? What does your family think about your work? If it weren't for my relatives, I wouldn't be here at all. Dad only gives me money as long as I have a regular job and work hard, so I have to rot in here. And your wife? My wife? I only deal with people's, other people's wives. <laughs> no way I'm gonna put a collar on some inscription like this turkey was ringed on whatever day of whatever month. Right. <laughs> Leave that shit to the ones who are too old to have fun. Right, okay. Oh, did you know my father? Okay, promotion. No, I've, I think I've run through all of that information, haven't I? Hmm. Alright, I'm going to put this watch back, and then I'll go home. And do some stuff, I think. Okay, we're good on this one. Fantastic. Hmm. Oh god, okay. Evan Redgrave, please report for routine medical testing. What? All employees must provide samples upon request. Alright. <laughs> I, know, I look like I haven't had a fun time doing that. <laughs> Ooh, phone call. James? Hello, I'm listening. Oh. Hello, this is the auto-informer of the service for, the monitor for monitoring the activities of Ministry employees. We would like to inform you that in the course of an official investigation, video surveillance equipment recorded a sexual relation between Evan Redgrave and Ministry employee Emma Hazer. Oh dear. Is there anyone there? Also, as a result of this intercourse, bacteriological diagnostic control has registered the infection of Evan Redgrave with a sexually transmitted disease. Oh dear. What? You have been issued a fine and bil a bill for treatment. All hail the leader. Uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh, God damn it, Emmy, you're meant to tell people about these things. Oh, God, how much is that going to be? It's oh, a lot of payments. How much is that in total? 2,500? Yeesh. Okay, I'm gonna get these two paid. So I can deal with those. There's a couple of days left on them, so I should really focus on getting that stuff done. Right. 800 for the treatment bill, and a 500 fine for immoral behaviour in the workplace. Oh, whoops. Well, that was dumb. So why do I not have the, um... I do have this skill. Why was I not able to pick the lock on What's-His-Face's desk? I don't know. Right, that's done, anyway. And two sessions of reading that. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go to sleep. I'll start a new day, and I'm gonna wrap this episode up here. Uh, I'm, the next episode, I'm going to focus on uh, getting a shitload more money and uh, getting these bills paid, as well as uh, dealing with trying to eliminate my colleagues. I'm not entirely sure on how I'm going to have to go about doing that, but it's going to be an interesting experience, I reckon. Ooh, yes, this, this is going to be a fun one, I think.
But I'm going to wrap this video up here and just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlists on the channel for more Let's Plays on Metal Covers, and give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, subscribe on YouTube, chuck me a follow over on Twitch, or maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video, and I will catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield, signing off. Sending my love. <laughs>